before the pandemic, I spent many hours per week driving to visit the members of my congregation, to have coffee or share a meal while we talk about life. And it's been a challenge to figure out how to continue to walk alongside my congregants on their spiritual journey. So the constant change of the pandemic with our jobs and just not knowing the best way to do it has been extremely hard. You know, it's killing my soul to keep producing content to just be consumed. It's just, it's so much harder to connect, especially when uh, people are tired. It has been profoundly isolating to be a minister in this time. Financially, all of us are questioning what our jobs will look like um, at the other end of this pandemic or even through it. So to sit in a room with other people and other people to remind me that uh, God is not surprised and that God is still on his throne. Uh, I need to be a part of this because that soul check-in is so important, especially for somebody who is a go-getter and a doer to stop and go, how is it with you really, uh, is really, really helpful. It has been encouraging to me to know that I'm not alone in the feelings that I have been going through uh, regarding ministry, regarding the pandemic. But more than that, it has been really good to be with a group of women who also want to grow spiritually. And we have this time set aside that's that's supposed to be focused on ourselves. And that has been something I have desperately needed. When six of us can sit in this computer screen and tell each other that we matter, it matters.